Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. This video is part two, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this component. If you did not see part one this, for this component here, I will link it down there below in the description bar, and I really recommend that you go and watch it because I went into a lot of information about this project that I'm working on. So, long story short, I'm making these three different components here. I'm making two of these two of these and one of these and I'm making a necklace. This is going to be my centerpiece and um, I'm going to have this pattern repeat over again but over there. Anyways, the materials I'm using to make this project I got from Beating School Academy box, the flowers and the hair theme. This box was for September and October 2022 and you're probably not going to be able to get it at this time, especially if you're watching a month from now or, you know, a couple months from now or a year from now. So what I always do is I put material links down there below in the description bar so you can go and buy individual materials to make this project. And like I said in part one, if you don't want to make all of these into a necklace, you just want to make one, you can do that. You can make this into earrings or this one into earrings. You don't have to add both bales. You can just do one. Um, whenever I do make a pendant though, I've been doing this a lot. I've been putting bales here on the sides at the top because doing this prevents it from flipping. If I just had one bale like this for a necklace, this would flip over, right? All necklaces do that. One jump ring or bail at the top they will flip backwards so this is my thing that I like to do and also I think it makes the necklace even more beautiful and it makes it stronger here is the list of materials you will need to make this component you will need to cut five feet of eight pound fire line you will need a size 10 beading needle a 12 millimeter rivoli eight five by seven millimeter drop duo beads 16 super duo beads, 8 3 by 4 millimeter check mushroom button beads, 16 2.5 by 6 millimeter mini dagger beads, 8 4 millimeter check fire polish beads, 8 3 millimeter check drop beads, 11 oat Miyuki delica beads. I'm doing three colors, yellow, green, and pink. You're also going to need 11 ohm Miyuki seed beads, dark bronze, and you're going to need 15 ohm Miyuki seed beads, and I'm using turquoise and light bronze. All right, so this is the list of materials, and I always put it down there below in the description bar. You'll see the list for everything that I'm using for this project, and you're also going to see individual links to the materials in case you need to go buy some things to make this project along with me. All right, let's get started. Here is a close-up of the component we're making, and I love this so much because it kind of has like succulent vibes to me. Doesn't it? With the mushroom beads and the daggers. Kind of looks like a succulent. Anyways, we're going to start making the base of this. And when I started making the base, I, I did a circle of super duos, right? And then I did another row of super duos. And I had my thread sticking out the back here. And I did not think to pass it through like I have done before. The other beads. And so I had to tie it off with my thread coming out here and it was pretty tight but see all those little white knots so what I did is I took the thread off the needle and I tied my knots in between the super duos so I'm gonna try and remember after I get done with the super duo era area to weave my tail through a couple of them so that it will be easier to tie off all right so it wasn't that bad. I mean, I have a lot of experience, so I was able to do it, but I don't want you guys having a hard time. So I'm gonna sit this to the side, and we're gonna start with one super duo, okay? Slide this bead down, and pass through the opposite hole, like this. Bring all your thread through and we're going to leave a tail 
six inches is like the length that I always leave. Unless it's like a big bracelet, then I would do like eight inches. Come on. Move down a little bit more. So right there is six inch tail. Okay. I'm gonna tie a surgeon knot surgeon's knot over and under once. Over and under twice and pull that tight. Okay, we're done with the roller. I'm just going to pull my knot to the middle of the bead like that so it's not in my way. I have to take the needle and pass through one of the holes on the side where my knot's at like that. Okay, go through pick up seven super duos and I totally lost count, I was going so fast there's six seven, so you should have a total of eight and it's very important to recount because I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally picked up another bead they just hop right on when you're not looking eight okay then you're going to want to go back through the first bead and see I'm coming out right here. I'm coming out on this side. This is my tail. This is my working thread. So you want to go through the opposite side like this and form a circle. Like that. Okay? Looks like a little flower. Then take your needle and go through the next hole. Okay, like that. Now this is what I was talking about. I left this thread here, and so I had to tie knots in a circle. I could not go outward and go through those because this is caved in. Do you see that? And I can't get my needle in there. So I'm going to take my tail and just pass it through this super duo here that my working tail is coming out of like this see so now both tails are coming out this super duo I'm gonna go back to my working thread of the needle and pick up one super duo and go in between all of these and we're just gonna put one super duo in between like that each super duo so all the way around as you go pull it in case it's getting loose on you okay now I'm not reinforcing these circles because it gets too tight so I only went through the center circle one time this fire line it is my favorite thread I've tried some other brands. I've never tried Wildfire. I would like to try it. I hear that it's thicker and I've felt it in like Michaels and Walmart and it is thicker but um, I just feel like this thread's more affordable and I've been using it forever and I love it. I'm used to working with it. It's super strong. There's zero stretch. I have some other threads that I've tried and even though those don't seem like they don't have stretch, when I create designs with them, there is stretch. I don't know why, but there's like wiggle room with my beads. And this one here is zero stretch. So I have this, okay, and this will start to dome for us. So just going around putting a super duo in between each bead. I'm going to go through this one now, adding my last one, okay, and let's see, where am I at? I have to step this 
needle up here for my next row. So I'm going to do that. Oops. I got stuck on my chair. My tail's caught, so I'm going to pull that out. Okay. So I just stepped up by going through the next bead. And I have to turn, so I'm going to flip it and go through here. Wait, before I do, since this is kind of loose, I need to weave this tail through, see right here, this super duo. Right here. Okay. And then I'm going to go through this bead. And I might leave this tail here, but we'll see. I, I just want to make sure that I don't leave this in a really tight area because it causes problems. All right. So now I have this. I'm going to step up again and go through this one. And by the way, this is doming slightly. That's what we want for our Rivoli to rest in this. And our Rivoli is very short I guess I would say it's not tall so we need a shallow little bowl for it to sit in so that's perfect the next thing I'm going to do and see we've created that right there is the mushroom beads and 15 so I'm going to pick up a 15 a mushroom and a 15 and go through right here again mu 15 mushroom 15 I'm gonna do this all the way around complete circle like that keep going Okay, I'm back and we're at the close. I have my three beads and I'm, ju I'm just going to go through this super duo, through the 15 and through the mushroom bead. Like this. Okay, so go through. And... This is what we have. When you pull it tight, you could see that it's just like a little bowl. And that's going to sit in there for us. Okay. Now what I'm going to do. I have to pay close attention to this part. Because when I first did this, I think my threads were twisted. And it just was not looking right it was looking um what's the word warped it was warping on me so I think my threads were twisted and what happens is sometimes when you put your needle through a bead you can twist the thread like this right and you're going through and so you have another thread that's going around this thread and it warps the project so whenever I go through a bead I try to hug the outside wall when I go through it because if it's in a circle the the thread's going to be on the inside closer to the center does that make sense so I'm going to pick up a 15 in the bronze pink delica a blue 15 oops delica and bronze 15 five seed beads just like that I'm going to go through the mushroom bead just the mushroom we're making the top here okay and I'm gonna stop push this inward very important that you do this pull this tight try not to yank on that thread and you just want to make sure that this 
blue 15 is standing up just like what we did on the first component I pointed out when we bezeled the chaton that we had to do this okay so we have perfect tension and I'm just going to show you this one so we're doing this right here see this pink and the blue with the bronze all the way around and then I close the stone in with the bronze in the center right so again we're going to repeat this all the way around I did it one time we have to do a total of eight so a 15 bronze 11 odelica 15 turquoise 11 odelica 15 bronze like that and go through the next mushroom bead okay stop push this forward pull it tight make sure that the turquoise bead is standing up in the middle like this this also makes it easier for us when we get all of these on to close the top up because those beads are standing up, up and they're ready for us to pass through and we don't have to um, you know pick at it and fuss with it because it's too tight so 15 again 11 pink 15 in the blue and then 11 pink then 15 in the bronze like that and I'm gonna do this one more time with you guys and you just want to do this all the way around okay so push it up stop pull it tight make sure that this turquoise is standing up like this okay I'll do it again with you and then I'll fast forward 15 bronze pink 11 -0, turquoise 15 pink 11 -0, and 15 bronze and through the next mushroom okay push those beads in towards the center pull it tight stand that center bead up so it looks like this okay I'm going to do this all the way around. Back, I'm all the way around and I'm putting my last beads in. So I'm going to go for the mushroom again. Push those inward. Okay, and those, see, those just stood up automatically for me, so I don't have to deal with that. And then I'm going to go up through. This is my tail that I'm working with. I'm going to go up through this 15. The pink and through the turquoise, like this, in my first row. Pull this through. Okay. I'm then going to pick up three bronze and I'm going to go through this turquoise. See how they're standing up for us? And I'm not going to pull this area tight because I like to go all the way around just about and then put my stone in. So, three again through this turquoise. like that three again for the next turquoise like that three again fifteens and through the next turquoise Okay. 
I'm going to do this all the way around. I'm going to fast forward because this, this up here. Pop my stone in now. I feel like I got fingerprints all over it. There we go. That's better. Better. Okay. I'm going to push down again on my finger and I just cleaned all the fingerprints off. So, like that. Okay, pick up three. Go through the next turquoise. Make sure you hold this between your fingers so the stone doesn't fly out and hit the floor and break into a billion pieces. Causing you to cry. Like that. And through the next turquoise. Hold it in place. Now we are going to reinforce this here to make sure our stone is strong and in place. Now, on I think it was the first one I did, I skipped over the blue 15 O's because I needed to close this this ring here in more shrink it more so my stone didn't fall out but with this one it's not like that this is very secure so I'm not going to cause this to shrink close further by skipping the turquoise beads I'm actually gonna go through all of the 15 of beads so coming out of this blue 15 I'm gonna go through these three bronze and through this 15 Okay, like that, and I'm going to do this all the way around. So, looks like four at a time. So you want to go full circle, and you will be able to tell where you started because it will start feeling stiffer. So I'm just going through four beads at a time. Careful not to skip the turquoise 15 now, because it will cause this to warp, especially if you only do one. You would have to do all of them so it matches. Okay. So, all the way around. Okay, checking again. See how I lift these beads up? You could tell that there's two thread paths there. So that's good. I don't have to go through there. I'm just going to make sure this is tight. You want to make sure that all these beads are laying flat. Sometimes you'll have one just standing up. But all you have to do is take your nail and go like this and push the beads down. Make them lay flat. Okay, now I'm going to stitch down through this pink Delica and through the bronze and I have to go at an angle like this over top of the mushroom in order for me to get through I got caught on my tweezers so through there then I'm gonna go through the mushroom bead and if I can I'm gonna go through this 15 -0. push this mushroom down see so, coming out of the 11 0 right there by the pink, I'm going through the mushroom, then I'm going through that 15 0 that we picked up beside the mushroom, and through the Super Duo. Pulling my thread through. Okay. It looks perfect. We did a good job. Okay, now we're going to work on the back side. And I'm going to do this right here with the yellow delicas. So we're picking up five beads and I'm going to go to each super duo all the way around. So I will be fast forwarding a lot of this because it's just time consuming, repetitive things that I'm doing over and over. Taking up two yellow delicas, a 15-0, two delicas, 
I'm coming out of this super duo and I'm just gonna go into the next and I might have to go through because of the tightness at an angle be careful that you don't break any beads it's best to go at an angle okay pull this through and pull your beads to the back side like this stop grab that bronze 15 lift it up and pull that tight so it does this for us okay we're gonna do this all the way around so I'll do it maybe two more times with you and then I'll fast forward like that my five beads I have to go like this at an angle gently wiggle see then push pull this to the back side stop and do this and do it again one two elevens with fifteen and two elevens through this one pull it to the back So now I can actually pass this thread up through these delicas that I just added. And maybe I should go for that 15 too. And then I think after this we can leave this thread alone and uh, tie knots with it at the, at the very end. Okay. I'm just going to get through that delicate there. And it seems like I need to... Oh, I got it. Okay. I was going to say I think I need to trim my thread because it seems like it's too wide at the end to go to 15 but I got it all right so we're leaving that thread alone now we'll go back to that thread and use it to tie off I'm gonna finish this row again I have to angle There I am. Pull this through. It's going to start getting really floppy on us when we put those teardrop beads in. Okay. I'm just going to straighten up my, my rows here. Pull them tight. I have to go back and fix some all right like that then I'm gonna go up where am I coming out where's my other tail this tail here okay 
right here. This is where I'm at. My, t my, my thread was wrapping around here and I thought I got caught on something. So I'm going to go through these beads now. Okay, so we have the inside done. See how these are more triangular? Now what I'm going to do, coming out of the bronze bead right here, I'm going to pick up a yellow Delica 15 my teardrop 15 yellow. Okay. Like this and go through the next one. This part here is also going to be repetitive and this is where it starts getting floppy to be honest until we can secure the second hole on the bead. So see it looks like that. I'm going to do this all the way around eight times. Yellow 15 teardrop 15 yellow through this one bronze 15. Like that. Okay, I'll do it again with you guys. Yellow 15 teardrop 15 yellow like that and through I feel like I should flip it over so you could see because the whole time we were looking at the back side through here like that I'll do it again and then fast forward yellow 15 teardrop 15 yellow and through this 15 just like that keep going doing this all the way around and I'll come back and show you what to do next Alrighty, I am back and I'm going to go through this 15 where I started. I now have this and I can't believe that it's not floppy right now. Maybe I did a good job with my tension, but the first time I made uh, it, this one here, the purple beads were going up and down, up and down, up and down. But it seems pretty stiff. So I'm going to go through this yellow Delica and the bronze right there, like that. And then I'm going to go through the purple teardrop bead. And let me see, what did I do? Oh, I have to go through the bronze. So, like this. Yeah, I'm looking at my other one here. Um, come out like this. You have to come out the 15 that's beside the purple bead. So I'm just repositioning my thread. See? Right here. I feel more comfortable holding it this way since I can see it now. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to pick up the 3 millimeter pink druck and I'm going to go through this bronze, the purple, and through the next bronze. And this little bead is just going to rest on the Delicos right here. See? Again, through the 15, 
purple teardrop in through the next 15. I'm going to do this all the way around. I'm going to show you this one so you see what we're doing. See the pink one? We're going to do this all the way around. Okay, pink again. Oop. Through the bronze, the purple, and the bronze. I'll do it one more time with you guys. Pink again. Through the bronze, purple teardrop, and the bronze. And it sits in between the two 15s on top of those Delicas. Okay, make sure you can't see any thread. It should look just like that. So I'm going to do the rest. Okay, I have my last pink one here. So again, I'm going to go through the bronze, the purple, and the bronze. Again, it rests in between the two 15s on top of the Delicos. Black bees. All right, now I wanted to use those daggers so bad, and I thought this looked like a succulent flower because of the mushroom beads, right? And then I have those pur purple ones there. So I'm like, man, if I can use those daggers, and I'm like, well, I have a hole. Oops, I have a hole right here. I can pop those in there. So I'm gonna reposition my needle. I'm gonna go through this 15. The Delica 15 in front of that See out the purple through the 15 beside the purple Delica and the 15 there in the middle And then I'm going to go through this one Delica right here Okay. See my daggers? So they are going to sit coming out this delica, pick up two daggers, go into this delica, and the next delica. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. This part here is gonna be so easy. We're gonna pick up our two daggers. I want to make sure you could see. Right, we came out that purple, went through the 15, the Delica, through that 15, coming out this Delica. Our two daggers are going to sit here, and then I'm going to slide those down. I'm going to take the needle, and I'm going to pass through these two Delicas, skipping over that 15, because it will be a pain in the butt to go through it. And also, doing this is pushing that 15 out. So it's giving us that perfect triangle shape that you saw in the other one. And this is also making this piece stiffer. Okay? Just like that. Let's see how darn cool. I love it. I can't believe I, I thought of this. Two... F oh, Two daggers, like say 15s. These are not 15s. Again, coming out here, go through this dagger. Oh my gosh, go through this Delica and skipping the 15 through the next Delica. Like this. I did find that when I did this, these daggers would twist on me. So what I liked doing was grabbing my thread, pulling them down, 
and then pulling this. See how they just pop right in there? They The thread twists and I pull up and it just gets a little tangled. So that helps. Two daggers. They are not delicates. These are not 15s. These are daggers. Okay. Okay, Alicia. Pick that up. And go through the next delica again. Come on. It's not tight. It's just that the beads aren't moving forward. Through the next one. Like this. Pull this through. Stop. Slide these daggers down. And then pull this. Okay. Pull tight. We have three now. Three rows. Two again. Like this. If I had enough beads, I would... I probably would have done a pair of earrings with this and a pendant and stop there because they are so cute. Okay, I got my two daggers. And I'm going to go through this one and this one. Pull through. Stop, slide those beads into place, and then pull my thread through. Again, do this all the way around, it's pretty easy. Okay, I've gone all the way around, got my last two, and I'm going to go through this dagger, and through the next, and if I can, those delicas, not delicas, daggers, good lord, there's too many names, you know, it's like all these beads are my kids and they're fighting. And I'm yelling at them, and I can't say the right name. My, uh, both my parents had, uh, eight siblings. They were each one of nine kids. And my mom's always told me that when her mom would yell at them, that she would say everybody's name pretty much, and it would be the last person was the one she was trying to make stop doing whatever they were doing. So, here I am now. And I'm going to go through this Delica and out through that 15. But can I do it all at once? Yes, I'm coming out the back, but that's totally fine. Okay. Okay, going through, where am I at? Going through this, coming up the Delica, remember? Um, I'm going to come up to the front by going through here, because I don't want to twist my thread around that bead, it might be exposed. And then going through the 15, and through the purple bead, through that next 15, like this. Those three beads. Okay. And then go through this three millimeter. Okay, I think I did a better job on this one than I did the other one. It just seems like it's a lot stiffer and better put together. Okay, now we're going to do to the pink bead. We are coming out of the pink bead. Coming out of the pink bead, I picked up these green delicas and a bronze 15. I went through this bead and I picked those beads up again. Went through here. So we are going to be doing this. Okay, all the way around. 
coming out the pink pick up two green and one bronze 15 like this and go through the purple like that pick up bronze and two green so the bronze is going to be at the tip of the pink of the purple bead so see the green's going to be touching the pink two green bronze will be touching the point of this bronze bronze and then green green and through the per pink and then you have to pick up two green coming out the pink bead and a bronze it's three beads in total and go through here and I do straighten them out if they're laying funny like this bronze two green through the pink two green bronze through the purple Right, right, sure. And again, the bronze, two green, through the pink, one more time, and I'll let you guys go by yourself. Like that. Two green and a bronze. Through the purple. Alrighty, do that all the way around. Alright, here we are, my last three beads. I'm going to go through the purple. And then through these two green and out that bronze. Stepping up for the next row. Oh boy. Alright, we're going to do the outer edge. And it has a yellow delica, a pink, a bronze, a pink and a yellow like this pattern here it's going to be on the points for us of our flower so we're going to go through like that just the 15 we're also going to be adding our bales and the bales will be connected to one of these and then pick up a bronze 15 a four millimeter and a bronze 15. That one I have is so thin that I worry it's weak so okay go through this come in here go through this 15 like that I love the turquoise it's gorgeous and then a yellow pink 15 pink yellow through this bead fifteen four millimeter fifteen through here and then yellow pink four millimeter pink yellow like this and go through this 15 
like that. A 15, 4 millimeter, 15. Okay, go through this 15. Alrighty. So I've now created one, two, three of the points. This is going to be my fourth point. So I'm going to start with my first bale. I'm going to pick up a yellow. I should fix this one though. All of them were pointy except for this one. Okay. Okay, back to the bale. Pick up a yellow Delica, a pink one, and then a 15. I want one that looks wide. Not wide. A strong bead. I need a strong, thick, chunky looking. Okay, that one. See how it looks whiter? It actually does have a whiter look to it. So pick that up. Three beads. Those there. And then beads from a bale. It's going to be five. Eleven O's. Slide these down. This is the first time, by the way, I'm doing this bale in a tutorial. This is my new bale. Okay, I, I, I do it different ways. First time I'm doing this one though. So sliding the beads down, you're going to want to pass back through the 15 and through the 11 like this. We're going to be making a circle. Okay, I'm going to get my needle through, but see I want to bring this down here as close as I can to my project. See? I don't want slack, so I br bring this down, pull it down tight. Now I'm going to pick up 115. That one's scrawny. Go through this. Next 11, like that. Pick up another 15. That one's scrawny too. Okay, go through this one. One bead at a time. Pick up a 15 and go through an 11. Like this. If you need to, stop. You don't want to see any loose thread. Go like this. Hold it between your fingers. Pull it tight so there's no loose thread right here. Okay. Pick up another 15 and go through this 11. Sometimes I have to go really slow so that it doesn't jerk and make it loose. Like that. Pick up another 15. I think it's the last one. Okay, get out of here, Tim. Go through this 11 and through the next 15. I'm going to turn this hold this between my fingers so my needle can pass and then I'll show you a close up of what it's doing see it looks like a little star and then pick up your pink and your yellow delicas and go through this 15 ohm before I do that maybe I should pull that tight and then through this 15. Okay, like that. Pull it tight. Oh, I'm forgetting. I showed how to do this bail in part one. It's the same bail that I did in part one. But I didn't tell you guys that it was new. Pick up a 15, my 4 millimeter, and a 15, and go through here. It's 15. So there are two thread paths in this, and I will come back to it just like I did in part one and reinforce and create new thread paths. So if that bead were to break, um, we wouldn't lose this. So it's yellow, pink, 15, pink, yellow. Go through 
here. I'm going to repeat this till I get to the opposite side of this bale. So over here, we're going to make the other bale straight across. So I'm going to fast forward because you know what we're doing. I'm now on the opposite side of my bale here, so I'm going to do the same bale again. A yellow, a pink, and a 15. Slide it down. I'm going to pick up five, one, two, three, four, five, elevens. Slide these down. I have to pass through the 15 and the 11, like that. So go through, I have to keep this slid down here, my work, okay. Like that. Pull it tight, pick up a 15 and go through the next 11 just like we did on the other side. We're repeating the same thing, 15 again. Just one, go through the next 11. Like that, it's getting loose on me. Tighten it. 15 again. Go through this 11. Fifteen. One more time, yeah. Go through this 11 and through this 15. So we're just repeating the same thing that we did on the other side. I actually didn't have to show you this. I could have just fast forwarded it. Like that. Pull this down. Like this. Through here. Like that. Pick up a 15. 4 millimeter, 15. Like this. And through here. Okay, now we have to remember that this was the last bead we added because we want to go all the way around this outer edge, reinforcing. Actually, I think I have enough leftover tail that I will automatically just go this way. So, we should be fine. Okay. Now we have this. Every time I do a design where I have this pointed pattern right here, I always like to go back through that and make the center bead stand out because it does sometimes sink back in or the beads around it raise up around it and it's not pointy anymore. So. I'm going to make that point stand out, and I'm also going to come around here and add a new thread path. I'm going to go straight up through this side, go around and back down like a U-turn. How we designed this originally, we did a figure eight, so we went like this, right? That's what we did. So we want to go like this, adding a new thread path. So I will be fast forwarding through some of this. So I'm going to go through these two delicas. Okay. Skip over that 15 so it pops out and go down through these two delicas. And if I can, go through that 15. Like this. Go through all three of these. 15, 4 millimeter. 15, if I can, I'll go through the next one. If I can. Can I? I can't. Oh. There. Okay, like that. This is also strengthening our piece. Go up through these two. Skip over that 15 so it stands out for us. Go through the two delicas and through that 15. There we go. 
see? Through this 15, 4 millimeter, 15, and the next 15. Okay, through these two 11s, skip the 15 down through these two 11s, and through that 15. Pull this tight, go through these beads, through that 15 there, like this. Okay. I'm going to go straight up through these two delicas here and through that 11. Can I? Can I? You know what? I'm not going to do that. It's just a weird position. I'm going to go up through the two delicas and then turn. Don't go through that 15. Go like this. And then up through these two. Also, on this design, we have to do something extra that we didn't do on the other one. It's just because of how this one's made. Okay, so I'm just going around this outer edge. How did I do that? Every time I try to go fast, I make a boo boo. But I don't want to do everything slow for the rest of my life. Go down through these two. Okay. And then through this last 11. Look at that. And then through my two delicas. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all something. After you get through these, okay, we're getting a new thread path there, making this more secure. What you have to do, and this is a thread path we are making that we didn't have before, but it does not affect the design. It doesn't make it warp. What you want to do is take the needle and go through this purple bead. Okay? Just like this. You're saying, why? Why are we doing this? We didn't make this thread path before. Because on all the points, we skipped over this 15 0 So we have to do it here. So I'm going to go up to the 2. Delicas again. And also, this is making it even more secure. We couldn't do this in part one because the design was different. So I'm skipping over the 15 so it stands out. And if we don't skip over this, you will see this acting up. Okay, I've learned this from another design that I made in the past. So go down like this. And while we're at it, I think we have to go through this 15. So I'm going to go through there. Okay. Skipping over that there in the middle, and you're gonna see it get pulled together. See that? And then through these beads, pull it tight. I'm gonna keep going around here, popping out that 15 0. Get over here. I'm gonna go straight up through the right side, and then you know, cross the top, back down. And then once I start going through here, I'm going to start tying my knots. So I'm going to do this, but I'm going to fast forward it because you guys know what I'm doing. Back at the other side. And like I said, I'm just going to go up this side. Through the top beads. Back down.
So this 11 only. Because we have to come out of the 11 and go into the Delica. Yeah. Okay, and I'm back because I want to make sure you do this part. So again, down here, you're going to go through those two Delicas. Go through the purple bead. Okay, and then we have to skip that 15, so go up two Delicas. Skip over the 15, just like we did before, and back down here. Go through the 15. See, skipping over that bead. Like that. Now ready to tie knots, and it's pretty simple. I'm just going to stay on the outside. Tie knots, but you do want to tie your knots in front of the larger bead so you can hide your knots. So I went through the 15 and I'm going to tie wait a second okay tie a knot here pass through here twice bring that knot down and looks like it's going to be screwy so always open it and then slide it down pass through the 4 millimeter, the 15, and through the next 15 Okay, and then I can tie my knots in front of the Delicas because they have big holes. Delicas have really big holes. So I can tie my knots in front of the 4 millimeters and in front of the Delicas or in between the Delicas. And I'm just going to go around the best I can, reinforcing this. And if I get to a point where I can just no longer go because it's too tight, I'll cut my thread off. But if I can, I'm going to try and use up most of my thread and go around. And then you're going to want to put your needle onto this thread here and looks like I'm coming out of the 15 I think so looks like that's where I'm coming out of anyways put the needle on this thread go up through the Delica up through that 15 through actually I think I can tie knots in this row I'll have to see but I can maybe tie knots in front of the purple bead Go through the 15, tie knot in front of the 3 millimeter. Well, I don't know if that would show. It might show. I could just tie knots in front of the purple beads and hide the knots in there. Or I can go out to the green row. That's what I should probably do. Should probably make my way out to the green and pink row with the point and tie knots in the green row in that thread path area there. So that's pretty much it for this component here had awesome time making it with you guys. It's so pretty. We now have two of these done. So now I'm going to show you how to make the center piece. So it's going to look something like this. I still have not gone through my chain to see what chain I have. But where's my other piece? I found the other one. So this is what it's going to look like. But um, I have to take this apart and remake it in the video, but I wanted to, you guys to see what it looked like. I have it in my hand. So this is my design idea. I'm going to have either thick chain links here or thick chump rings. And I'll have a chain going around the back side. So link the Beating School Academy box in the description bar and if you can no longer get it at this time there will also be individual links to all of the beads that I'm using to make this project down there below in the description bar but keep in mind this is it I hope that you guys are enjoying this three-part video tutorial series I've worked so hard on these components it's taken a couple weeks maybe three weeks now that I've been working on this and it's gonna take probably longer to edit and get all of this up and out there there's so many things that I have to do for these videos that you guys don't even know about and it's just 
would be crazy for me to tell you every single thing. It's a lot of work. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos, and follow me on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.